Hey guys, Chucky it in 959 here, back again with another video, and today we're going to be doing a video based on one of my favorite movies, and a, cl uh, and a classic made by Steven Spielberg. Mm, but guess what guys, um, I saw this at Walmart and I wanted to buy it, and before I show the pop, I just want to let you guys know, if you haven't seen my Jeeper Creeper review, go see it, um, it's pretty good, especially if you're a horror fan and you want that pop, just go check it out, or don't, it's, it's fine. But, here's the pop that I'm showing off today. Um, boom. Doc and Einstein. In case you guys don't know, I am a big Back to the Future fan. I have a few Back to the Future merch and some Back to the Future pops. Uh, I actually do have a Marty McFly pop, but it's actually the Marty McFly from the, like, Comic-Con exclusive, but they were selling it at Walmart. This is a Walmart exclusive, and it's Doc and Einstein. It's like our first time getting Einstein in, like, a little pop form. So yeah, right there it says Pop Movies, you can see Back to the Future right there. And you can also see that's number 972 in the series. If you look right there, you can see a really neat looking background. I don't know if you guys can see, but if I lift this my phone up, uh, you can see the thunder shock. Because you know, you have to like go up to 88 miles per hour. You can also see the town of, what's it called in the movie? I can see the clock tower, but I forget the movie. Like. Hill Valley? Is that what it is? I don't remember. But anyway, in this in the back you can see some other stuff, collect them all. Um so yeah guys, look, these are all of them. So we get Marty nineteen fifty five, which is I think what Marty just looks like when Marty goes back in dogs docks, um like timeline when he's a little bit younger. By the way, spoilers up ahead. Marty with sunglasses, I I, I don't remember that suit from the movie. It's not wearing his red puppy vest. Uh, Doc with helmet, that's him when, after he, like, meets Marty, he's wearing that weird, crazy helmet, like, Mar like, he doesn't even know him. The only pip that, the only pop that I really want is actually Biff. I actually do have the Doc Brown with the clock tower, but I want a Biff, because Biff, this is the only Biff figure we have, and I actually did find him pretty cool in the movie, but I did find him that he is stupid. The actor's not, the, the character is not that great, though. Okay, so we got Doc 2015, which is the outfit that he wears in the second movie after he comes back from the future. Like, yeah. It also, he also shows that outfit in the beginning of the movie. Like, he has those weird shades. Marty with a puppy vest with a camera to, I think, if I'm not mistaken, record a video of Doc's DeLorean to prove that he's not crazy. And Marty Future outfit, which is what he looks like in the second movie. And that's pretty much it. And the cool DeLorean there. Um, more Thundershock on the top. So, yeah, and we can see Universal and this little company right here by Spielberg. So, yeah, let's just open the figure. Yeah. Let me know if you got, let me know what your guys' favorite 80s movie is, or what's your guys' favorite movie? What's your guys' favorite sci fi movie, if you would say? What's your guys' favorite Steven Spielberg movie? So, so here we go. Here's the pop. And let's pull out his little dog, Einstein. Very cute name, right? Alright, so there is Einstein. So, before we review the dog figure, let's move him aside. Let's look at the little Einstein figure. Now, this is our first time getting Einstein a little pop form, and I think he's cute. Look how cute he looks. He has, like, the white over, like, on his eyes. Uh, he cannot stand very well, like that. Uh, he can twist his head. Watch. Right there. See, he can twist his head a little bit. Um, he's wearing this thing, which I forget what it is. I remember Doc puts him in the DeLorean, and like Einstein's the first time traveler to go back from the future. Uh, it says, I don't know if you guys can see, but my camera sucks, but it says 1.20. I hope you guys can read that. It's, there you go. Can you guys see it? 1.20? bit hard to see. Okay, I think you guys can see, I hope. But, yep, he's a very cute dog. Um, not sure what kind of dog he is supposed to be. Let me know in the comments. But, yeah, there's really not that much to him. But he is very cute. This is, like, my first time ever getting, like, a pop with those pets. Um, do really want some others like this. But he's very cute. But, anyway, on to the dog figure. So, here's the dog figure now. I can't believe they actually remastered dog in the uh, re radiation suit. Because we do already have a dog figure like this. Like, the original dog who is just the old version and that one is just yeah th but this one's a bit different one this di this one's wearing goggles two this one has the remote control but that one also did and this one and that one did not have this thing i don't know what that is 
you can wear it over your neck. But let's review the doc figure. So here we go. Here's a doc brown. So right there, the shoes have some really crappy paint. I'm not gonna lie. Um, it's in a radiation suit. He has the remote control to control the DeLorean time machine. And I don't know if you guys can see, but it should say 1.21 gigawaits. Is that what it is for? I don't know. Uh, there's all sorts of black stains on the suit. But he also has this right here, like a little pocket. Look at the back of him, and we can see that he has the, 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 these. Not sure what those are. Like, mm. And he has the radiation logo. And of course, yes, he can twist his head. Yep, there you go. Um, we look on, we look at him, we can see that he's very, oh, we can see some wrink, wrinkles. And we can see he has the white hair. Right there, Christopher Lloyd, great actor. Loved him in the Adams Family as Uncle Fester. But, yeah, that's that's pretty much it from my review. Um, he's wearing a shirt over him, by the way. Um, he does also come with, like, a black belt. Not a black belt, he's not a Kung Fu master, just a belt, okay? Don't call me crazy. But he looks so confused, and yet again, what he didn't know is that he was already about to be gunned down. Again, more, okay, if you guys don't want to see, if you guys, uh, guys, I, I highly recommend that you don't see this video unless you watch the movies. Trust me, you should watch the movies. If you want to see the movies, they are actually all three trilogies, or maybe all three movies are on Netflix, but, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, that's my review of the Doc and Einstein Walmart exclusive pops. Uh, I, I highly recommend that you go see this movie. It's classic, uh, and these pops would be gr uh, great for you if you're a fan of the movie or Spielberg's movies, you know, like Gremlins and stuff. But, um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you do, uh, and type in the comments below saying, Great Scott! If you like the video, uh, the, if you like the movie or the video. Because, and if you guys, and if you tell me you younger people out there are like, Aiden, what the hell do you mean, Great Scott? Hello, you idiots. Go see the movie so you can understand that quote. But anyway, guys, that was my review. Uh, so hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, please leave a like if you did. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. And once again, just click Great Scots in the vi in the comments. And if you guys like Back to the Future, and I am going to time travel. Peace. Or actually, no, peace. Sorry.